how to choose your first programming language. Python, Java, C, C++, C Sharp, uh, JavaScript, TypeScript, PHP, Swift. <gasps> when you just see which programming languages exist and yet I only mentioned some of the most popular programming languages, you're kind of overwhelmed and stuck thinking about, well, uh, uh, from where should I start? You're even more overwhelmed uh, when you also read about the libraries, frameworks, which each language has. And uh, no doubt that in 21st century, we can't live without these libraries and frameworks. So from which language should you start learning programming? How to choose the language so that in some years when you reach the level to finally get your first job, uh, this programming language will be in demand and will be you'll have a good salary, etc. Um, a short <laughs> disclaimer at the beginning of this video, I will not give you the list of languages that you should learn. Um, I'll just try to give you my opinion and a sort of advice uh, that will help you to to understand my point of view. And just keep calm and not be overwhelmed anymore. Let's start. Well, first of all, the point that I wanted to mention, if you know the field, the sphere where you want to work, it's like whether you're interested in web, uh, backend, frontend, uh, in mobile development like iOS or Android, if you want to be in game development, in data science, uh, so I think your choice is kind of limited and probably it's not the case for you who watch this video, but still know that if you know the field, just Google uh, which languages do you use in this and that field. For example, actually, if in backend, in banking sphere, most popular language is Java. But as well as for probably data engineering backend, I mean, in services which deals with data, Java is more popular. I'm talking about this because I worked in Java. Uh, it's very safe, uh, relatively, relatively fast, not as fast as C++ actually, but still it's, uh, it's user friendly. So it's kind of popular with data Python in data science. So please check it out. But if you just don't know your sphere of interest, just you want to learn programming for whatever reasons, and you just want to start, uh, my simple advice is start from any language. It doesn't matter which language you choose first. Uh, the basic idea here is to have a solid background, have this algorithmic um, algorithmic problem solving mindset, whether for example, and the um, kind of say programmatic approach, this, I mean, find the fastest solution, the less time consuming solution, solution that would cost less to the company, etc. So it's very important thing and to be able to choose between all of the options, um, so this, this kind of problem solving logical mindset. And it doesn't matter from which language you use as a tool to, in order to acquire this kind of mindset. So when I say this kind of mindset, a thinking as a programmer, I mean, it's logic, it's mm, patterns, it's algorithms. And then you can start touching all of the spheres, a little bit of app, a little bit of data science, a little bit of uh, game development, a little bit of mobile, and you'll see what, what you're more interested in, what you are like, you know, you can spend hours in um, reading the materials, in practicing, and um, and you can't understand what you like when you don't touch it, when you don't try it. So please just try and you'll see. 
So that's why I always recommend one course, which is for free. It's not an ad. <laughs> it's a course from the Harvard University called CS50, where you start by the beginning of basics and then touch uh, almost all um, all the spheres of programming. Uh, so check it out, link in the description as usual. Um, I recommend it at least listen to the course, the lectures, but uh, the most uh, efficient way would be to, to follow all of the course, do the exercise they suggest and emerge yourself into, into coding. As for me, I started with pure C language and did a couple of projects on that, then a little bit of DevOps engineering, <laughs> is tiny step of assembly language just to get to know what it is. Uh, then C++, object-oriented programming, and continued with Java. And I really liked it. So then I started to search my first job in, uh, in software development in Java. And I found a job in backend uh, of a sort of a web service connected with data. And... I realized that I like it and I want to continue to develop myself, develop my skills in, um, in this uh, field. So, and when I was searching for the next job, actually, like the Java language wasn't the most important thing. The most important thing was my experience. Uh, and many companies uh, contacted me uh, when... And they, not all of them, but many of them, they had another stack of technology. But the main point is that, that it was for backend development and a little bit connected with data. So that proves my idea that the language is the least important thing here from, from where to start learning programming. And the most important thing is to it's the source of it's actually it's the instrument language is the instrument to uh to express your thoughts and the most important thing is programming is to learn how to think how to think as a programmer so learn that and then every door is open to you Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was useful, interesting for you. Let me know what you think in the comment and if you have any questions as well. I also have a video on a similar topic, how to start learning programming, where I recommend some other tools and uh, courses. Check it out, link in the description. Well, good luck, don't hesitate and just start your journey in programming. <laughs>